Mr. Finance Minister, first let me stretch across and shake your hand and congratulate you on uh, your sixth budget. Yeah. It's your sixth budget and uh, 40 years in active politics. Huh? From 1969 onwards, this is the 42nd year. That's 40 I am in Parliament. Before that, three, four years, of course I came to Parliament very early. Yes. That's why. <clears throat> but if you talk of actual uh, political activities, that is from 1966. So 34 plus 11, 45 years. 45 and years. In Parliament from 1969 onwards. Incredible. Two years. Incredible. And and still, when people talk of Pranab Mukherjee, the first thing they say, mm -hmm. I don't know if they say it in front of you, but they say you're one of the hardest working people in government they've ever met. These people <laughs> do not understand. If you are interested with a job, you have no option but to do that. Come on, Mr. Mukherjee. That's not a myth. <laughs> it's a it's, it's a fact. We know how how late you stay up uh, pushing the files. Thank Let you. me. Uh, let me begin by asking you, Mr. Mukherjee, after the speech when you came out and you spoke, uh, you said that you have prepared the ground for reform. And very broadly, you know, there are various observers we were speaking to internationally who were saying, here's an opportunity to go for the big bang reforms. Now, big bang reforms, as the expectation of some people, as opposed to your saying you've prepared the ground for reforms, could you please elaborate on what you meant when you said, you're preparing the ground for reforms. Uh, first of all, I would like to make one point quite clear that to me, reform does not mean always a big ticket item which will capture the headlines. To me, reform is a continuing process. It is not stop and go. Therefore, if it is a continuing process, very nature of it cannot be always a big ticket item. This aspect is to be kept in mind. To me, when I'm preparing the ground for reforms, means there will have to make a lot of change in the governance, in the delivery system, in reaching to the people for whom the uh, proposals are meant. For that, we are to prepare the ground and take advantage of the situation which is prevailing. For instance, technological platform is ready. One simple example I would like to give you. Yes. With the advantage of the IT facilities, there <coughs> has been a remarkable change in the functioning of the income tax departments. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be a remarkable change in the indirect taxes also. The Bengaluru Central Processing Unit, when, you, when we established, now last year it has processed the cases of 1.5 lakhs. Now four, two more units are coming. Fourth unit will be coming in Calcutta next year. You just imagine how many cases will be processed in the central processing units and how much harassment of the taxpayers will be reduced. Therefore, this type of, these are not headlines. No, no, certainly but, not. But these type of things are helping it and the revenue buoyancy which is taking place without raising the rate of interest is one of the reasons compliance is better. Compliance is better because we are facilitating the taxpayer to pay their taxes uh, without a hassle. I completely understand. Uh, but This is one point which I wanted to convey. That's what I am making ready for the... Yes. Um, uh, Early, early no, for example, in the case of FDI and retail, hmm. several, we know several ministers within your own cabinet have been pushing for it. Even the Prime Minister spoke about it when at his news conference. Hmm. Uh, are we not ready yet? Uh, do you have a time frame, for example, in something as specific as that? You must have given it some thought. I have just given, not only I have given it a thought, I uh, feel that it should be done. But question is at what point of time it should be done. Here my practice is, you may like it, you may not like it, people may like it or people may not like it, that when I am uh, sure that this is the time I am going to do it, then I make the announcement. I do not always, I do not like to make premature announcement and thereafter to find explanations why it is not being done. Mm -hmm. For FDI, Apart from in certain areas which you should open for the FDI, I have clearly conveyed certain message. The type of message which I have con um, conveyed by making 
substantial changes in the FII investment in the corporate bond. Yes. It is, the limit has been raised up to 40 billion US dollar. The changes which we are making, Commerce Ministry, the Concerned Administrative Ministry, they have brought out major changes. Education Minister, HRD Minister is also thinking of attracting FDI in the one of the important education sector. Therefore, these things are being done and it will have to be done than making a headline announcement and the after uh, waiting for that. That I do not think so. That way there is a need because for financing my current account deficit, now we are financing of which I have expressed my concern substantially on volatile resources which should not be there. Rate of savings should increase. More predictable flow of capital should take place and a substantial part of it can finance the current account deficit. That would be economically more acceptable position. I, I so for these things yes. have to be done. Yes. Mr. Mukherjee, uh, many people say that you've come close in several of your announcements, but something's held you back uh, in walking the talk as far as reforms again is concerned. One, we talked about FDI where you said that there is discussion and we are looking at that policy and there will be some policy. On black money, you touch upon that uh, issue and people see you as uh, the political troubleshooter as well. And that's an important issue that has been confronting uh, your uh, ministry. Apart from that, you bring in, you dust the old uh, bills that have been lying inside, which is the insurance <coughs> FDI bill, as well as uh, the banking amendment bills. All of them have been dust, uh, dusted and brought out. But there's no time frame that you've talked of. Have you deliberately stopped short? Or do you have a vision in mind? No, I'm, I have not deliberately stopped because what I feel, first point as a practical uh, parliamentarian, I know these bills, most of the bills are to be taken up in monsoon session and winter session. Budget session, very few legislations we can take because there are certain items which are compulsorily to be disposed of during this session, this is constitutional requirement. Yes. Therefore, other legislations, it takes time and normally we have winter session and monsoon session. Unfortunately, uh, winter session was washed out. I am not going to go to the reasons why it has been that we have spoken enough. So, I will take full advantage of the uh, uh, monsoon session. In regard to the legislations, in regard to the black money, one point you shall have to keep in mind, I had a full-fledged press conference before the budget session began and there I spelled our strategy, five-fold strategy which we are taking and test of a pudding is in eating. When I talk of the legal framework which will have to be uh, followed in this area, I have amended avoidance of double taxation agreements as many as 11, 10 existing agreements and 11 new agreements I have entered into. Tax exchange information agreements with sovereign jurisdiction but not sovereign countries, as many as 11 I have done it. Therefore, I am creating the legal framework. I have joined the international crusade. All the important international bodies starting from FATF to Eurasian group, I have, India has become the member, India is the 34th member of the FATF. Therefore, internationally we are going and all these things have happened within the 18 months. Okay. Since the summit, London summit of the G20 and prior to that, in the first part of September G20 finance ministers meeting, since then all these steps we have okay. taken. Just two quick. And the, just one yeah. small, and as a result of that, I have been able to locate and 30, more than 34,000 crores of rupees I have realized as taxes That's from right. abroad. Another important area in this area, in this case, is the transfer pricing mechanism, where lot of evasions take place. Now, there, to be very frank, in my foreign tax division, there was a little lack of the competence and the modern technologies, the more knowledgeable people were required. 
and they have built up that capacity. I have built up that capacity in that foreign uh, um, uh, foreign tax division, so that the transfer pricing mechanism a new way of generating black money abroad that we have detected and they are also more than 30,000 crores, maybe 30,000 crores, which could have generated black money had been... Without doubt. 